Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome to the channel. We're going to go over the new event that just dropped. That is the Forge event. I'm going to go over everything to explain what you need to be doing uh, to make sure that you can complete this event. And before we do that, make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe. We are on our way to 4,000 subs. So I'd appreciate it if you guys do that. And it's unfortunate there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go into this event. So to access the Forge Your Equipment event, you can click it here. Or you can go to your mail in your mailbox and go right here. Forge Your Equipment event. Uh, this is going to take a minute to explain as it loads up. But we'll do. I'll do my best to explain it to you guys. Because this event is very good. Um, of course, there's an error. Typical. <laughs> Let's try this again. <laughs> We got episode seven, man. Come on, load up. You got this. Thank you. All right. So uh, the way this works, you're gonna pick your. Uh, I don't want to reset because if I if I reset this right now, which is a cost. Oh, it's a, it's a free reset. So technically, I could do it all over again. Uh, if you reset, you will go back to the. Yeah, we'll do it from the start. It's fine. All right. So you're gonna open this event. It's gonna show the screen. You guys pick your piece, whatever it is you want, attack, defense, health. It's going to be your set piece. So make sure you guys pick whatever piece you want. For me, it's going to be a speed piece. I'm going to select speed. All right. I didn't put any rules on it, which is why I was able to reset it. I have 3,160 points at the moment. Pretty good. Uh, all right. So from here, you're going to get your second option. Weapon, chest, or helmet. I'm going to go helmet because it's what I want to build. So we're going to go ahead and click helmets. Right. From here, you're going to pick your substats. Uh, depending if it's helmet, depending if it's uh, chest or whatever, you're going to pick your own substats. For me, I'm going to go attack percent, speed, crit chance, critical damage. This is going to be the pieces or the pieces that I want. They're going to max roll, obviously 9% on the attack, 5 for speed, 6% for crit chance, and 8% for critical damage. Fantastic. Make sure you pick attack percent if you want attack percent. All right, so yep. All right, from here, you're going to be able to get your first roll into your piece, which is going to have a 90% discount. Uh, so for me, if I want this, it will... Um, uh, do you want to enhance the following substat? You cannot change the selected substat. Yes, so more select speed. Boom. First enhancement is going to cost us um, 90. It's going to be 90% off the first time. So we're going to go ahead and click it. Boom. All right, sick. To enhance it again, we're going to need to... Um, you can now enhance your equipment once every day for the next, uh, so we can enhance the next one and tomorrow. So yeah, you're going to go ahead and do that again. Uh, sick. Um, yeah, so we're going to do this t t tomorrow and we'll do it again. So it shows, it shows you can go four here. Uh, it's going to go plus four. I hope. So right now, when we do this, uh, we have to keep enhancing until we get plus four, I assume. And then you do the next roll. So I think the way this works, is, the way they're trying to explain this is that when you do it, every day you get the roll, right? You get the roll it here. So tomorrow I'll be able to enhance it. Um, and then it should go plus four. If it goes plus four, I can go to my next piece. Or I have to roll it four times to get it to the plus four and then move on to my next piece. So it might be plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, two, I, till I get my, my max piece, right? So I won't be able to know this until 17 hours, but uh, whenever that happens, yeah, you get to enhance it. So whenever you do your plus four, I assume you get to pick your next stat that you want to roll. And you do the same thing again. You roll it into your maxes and then you move on to your next roll. It's going to be a long event. Uh, the way you want to do this, or the way you want to grind up these points, is um, by burning stamina, doing your daily, uh, your dailies and your weeklies. So if you do your dailies, you get fifty points. If you do your, uh, you do your whole weeklies, you get up to two thousand eight hundred points if you complete your whole, your whole uh, thing, which I already did. And then if you burn stamina, you get uh, if you use one hundred energy, gain five points. So yeah, great. Uh, you can also enhance your equipment, which costs nine hundred, so it's going to cost a lot. Uh, to confirm the crafting equipment or to confirm your equipment, it's going to cost 3000 And then on top of that, resetting costs 700 So be sure that you guys are picking your correct stats and you're doing everything properly um, because <laughs> it looks like it's going to be a lengthy event. Uh, this is going to last for 60 days. Holy crap. That's a long... That's technically 60 day. Whole. Oh, that's a long, long, long event. But it's worth it. Get your pieces. It's going to take a long time to do. It's similar to the ML5 event. Uh, with how you get your, your your points very similar it's just now you get your gear so it's gonna be one of those long long 
long events. So yeah, you gotta do this every day. Do all your, do your dailies every day. Do your weeklies every week, and just stay on top of that, and you should be fine. The stamina burning part is kind of optional. You do that kind of naturally. So just make sure you do your weeklies and make sure you do your your dailies every time you get the chance, and then just stick with this event and get your pieces done. It's gonna supposedly take sixty days to do this, so fun. So for my pieces, I've already done all my pieces and all the math on my pieces for my Malaika. Here's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go with my helmet with a base roll of 9%, uh, base roll of chance of 6%, speed I'm going to do two rolls in it to get the 13, and then I'm going to do the rest of my rolls and the critical damage. And then for the next piece, I'm going to go helmet with the crit damage main stat with attack percent. I'm going to roll, I think, three times? Um, or is it twice? I don't remember. Uh, I think this is a three, two roller. I think this is twice. I don't know. Either way, it's going to go um, two rolls in speed. It looks like one roll in critical damage and then two rolls there. So I think that's how that works. I think this is two rolls, two rolls, one roll. I think that's how that works. Uh, for me, my, I forget. My, my brain is going to die. So yeah, that's what my piece is going to look like. This is obviously going to be a crit damage main stat so this is going to be the pieces for my ml Leica exclusively uh let's go ahead and take a peek so right now for my ml Leica, since this is what i'm building for her like these are pieces are meant to be put on her and stand her because of how she's built it's going to be replacing this so that way i make up the critical damage i'll actually gain critical damage doing this pushing this closer to 300 percent i'll be gaining two speed which will put her to 260 speed and then obviously i'll be losing a little bit of crit chance but making it up in my neck and then gaining four percent more attack and then for this piece, I'm going to just be gaining more attack, gaining more speed, and gaining more crit chance overall, balancing out my build to make it to where she's just a lot better, right? So I'm abusing this to med max my, um, wow, this is actually really good, 87, 95, 95, 99. How do they do their gear scoring? Sorry, I got distracted by the gear scoring. 90, 95, oh, oh, what? <laughs> Hold on a second. 88. 94, 8, 98, 79, 99. Wait, that's a 99? What the hell? What the hell am I looking at? Let's go check out the 86, 92, 92, 75, 93, 96. What? How do they? Anyway, I got sidetracked by the equipment scoring. <laughs> oh, that's so weird. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, that changes the damn. I like his gears actually pogging then. What the heck? 99, 95, 95, 90, 87, 95, 90. Yeah, anyway, uh, so that's what I'm gonna be doing for my ML. Like, I'm gonna be building her a helmet and a necklace. Um, the max her stats out a bit better. She should end up at 262 speed, which is fine. She'll have 100% crit chance. I think 299 or 300% critical, or yeah, 300% critical damage are really, really close to 300%. And then ideally her attack should go to I think 3,008 to 900, and then with imprints 4K to 4.1 thousand, which is where she wants to be. And then she'll be perfect and ready to be just done. Like she'll be done after I hit those stats, because uh, all you need for Leica is 3, uh, 300% critical damage, and then as close to 4,000 attack or 4,000 attack to 4.1K attack as possible with like 260 speed, 262 speed. Obviously more speed is better, but getting those damage stats is just where you need to put your priorities, right? So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, and then from there, we have the slum event, obviously, coming back. So uh, with that, you could pre-prep your pieces for Milam if you want to. You could pre-prep some pieces for your Rimuru if you want to. It is up to you. On top of that, we do have the, the, the flower things. To get your flowers, you have to transmit your dogs. So if I go to, like, I don't know, a five-star here and go to, for example, where is my baby guy at? Uh, hello? Is she a four star? She might be a four star. Yeah, she's a four star. So you could promote your uh, four stars to five star with these things. I think you need to have 16 of these to do it. So if we auto select, you need seven more greater spirit blooms in order to promote. Yeah, so um, you, you need to get these things. And then for your for your six stars, or, or go to five to six star, if we go to promotion here, you need. 20 of these so i have 28 so i have enough to get my uh whenever millum drops i'll be able to you know get millum to go to our next uh promotion since i'm gonna be using this on millum should i invest into my 
Holiday Noon spin right now? Um, where is she? Holiday Noon. I'm a little confused on how we're supposed to get um, penguins now. Because they removed penguins from the grind, I think. Uh, so I think to get penguins, you have to get them exclusively from the Sanctuary now? They also up the... Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's a... Yeah. You <laughs> get 50,000. Yeah. <laughs> Acquire 10. That's half of what you need. So, uh... Let me know what you guys think of the, uh... The, the Spirit Well update. Do you like it? Do you not like it? I think it's a ridiculous amount. Good God. Um... That's just me, though. Can you not get... How do you get... How do you... How do you get penguins? I guess penguins are just exclusively this? Oh, God. Um... I don't know. If you do a... Let's just do, like, a side event real fast. Like... We'll go here, and then we'll pop this. This should kill him, I imagine. Yeah, easy kill. All right, so do we get penguin sellers? Just exclusively stigma. So to get penguins, the only way to do that is by buying them from the with stigma. Huh. Let me know what you guys think of that change. Do you like that you can only get penguins now from this? That, that's... That's a mega annoying. At least let the penguins drop. Um, hopefully that doesn't cause too much issues in the future. That's ridiculous. So yeah, that's cool. To get penguins, you can only farm them from unrecorded history and like the AP uh, and the uh, side stories. It does seem... Maybe I'm missing something. Let me know if I'm missing where you can farm these things or if it's just exclusively the stigma. If that's the case, you need to up the value to that. That way you can get a lot more penguin or penguins out of that because like how are you supposed to balance penguins and the spirit wells? I don't know. But that's going to be it for this video. That's mind-boggling. Um... Damn, that's, that's strange. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know what you guys think of the new update and quality life changes. And are you excited for your event pieces? Be sure to do your weeklies and your dailies every chance you get. Do your weeklies every week. Do your dailies every day. And you should be able to complete the event on time. I'll talk to you later. Peace.